Hi, I'm Rich. I'm coming to you from Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, and this is Cheap Red Wine, the weekly show in which I drink cheap red wine and tell stories. This week on Cheap Red Wine, we're going to be talking about stamps. Stamp collecting. Philately. That's the technical term for stamp collecting. I philatled, if you will, for quite some time as a boy and as a teenager. I don't know how I started collecting stamps. My grandmother used to say that um, a friend of hers gave her a stamp collection, which she then gave to me. I don't remember that. I really don't remember how I got started, but I was an ardent philatelist for quite some time. We would go out to Grant Run Mall. There's a hobby shop there, and there was a big box of stamps, and I would poke through them. And eventually I had many stamps, um, including many duplicates. I had probably 30 or 40 of these little purple stamps with Queen Elizabeth on them. I think it was the most common stamp in the world. You couldn't get away from them. They were kind of like uh, Phil Collins in the 80s, if you will. And uh, I, I enjoyed stamp collecting. I enjoyed it so much. Well, I think I have a theory about this. I think that a lot of boys uh, who are into stamp collecting, around the time they start thinking about girls, they stop thinking about stamps. The stamp collecting ends around, you know, 13 or 14 years old. For me, I tried to combine the two, stamp collecting and girls, sort of philately and anatomy. I had them both on my mind at the same time, so much so that in 1979, I wrote a poem, which appears in my book, The Dichotomy of the Dog. And this poem was my attempt to uh, bridge the gap, I guess. And it's called Philatelic Love, Baby, I'm Hinged on You. I'm going to read it for you now. You're my special delivery, baby. I'm really hinged on you. Your body's in mint condition, and I'm stuck on you like glue. You're a 74 mint set. To me, you're worth thousands in love. To me, you're a rare inverted error. You're my airmail sweetheart, dropped from above. I'll postmark you with kisses. I'll trade my stamps for you. Comply with all my wishes, or else I'll be so blue. This love can never be canceled. I'll love you day and night. You're pretty as a commemorative, and I'm sure this love is right. I love you, dear, of that I'm sure. I learned your zip code really fast. I enjoy playing post office so much with you. I hope this love will last and last. There you go. Philatelic love. Baby, I'm hinged on you. I meant to explain at the outset that stamp hinges were these little pieces of tape, sort of, that you would use to affix the stamps to your stamp album. I think my mom and dad stepped on plenty of stamp hinges back when I was growing up, um, which is a pain, but not nearly as painful as stepping on Lego pieces, I can assure you. Anyway, as time went on, I lost interest in stamps and stamp collecting, slowly but surely. It was very gradual. And eventually, I made a decision to sell my stamp collection. I had a good reason to sell my stamp collection, and I've never regretted it. Uh, this happened in about 1990. In 1998, I wrote a second poem called The Last Stamp. And this was inspired by a comment that Elvis Costello once made, where he said that he felt like he had reached the last record in his record collection. So this is my poem, The Last Stamp. 
I don't remember what the last stamp I added to my collection was. It may have been a recent U.S. commemorative saluting the Texas sesquicentennial, or a celebrating 50 years of the thumbtack, first day of issue. It may have been one of those 3D animals in the wild jobs from a country with a name like Qatar or Amal Kuwain. You know, it was probably one of those ubiquitous and worthless purple queens from Great Britain or green queens from the Netherlands? All I know is that sometime in the late 1980s, after years of selecting and sorting, hinging and hoarding, collecting and counting, countless bits of paper previously licked by human tongues around the globe, I sold my stamp collection for 20 bucks and use the proceeds to go see Debbie Harry live at the Chestnut Cabaret. So, even for me, eventually, an interest in girls took over my interest in stamp collecting. And I haven't looked back, really. So there you go. Philatelic Love, Baby I'm Hinged on You, and The Last Stamp. Two poems from my book written about stamp collecting. Good night. Thanks for your support.